Hello, welcome back. I'm Scott. And I'm Allison. And today we're jaw jacking with, with Jarhead, Jarhead and Ginger. Ginger and friends. We have our friends here, Tim and Crystal from CR View. Hi, folks. Tim, <laughs> the dad. Hi. You never <laughs> say she's the dog. I never. <laughs> And we're here with our friends, Scott and Allison. That's right. So we're just going to uh, jaw jack a bit about your channel and um, your adventures. And so first of all, how did you get started uh, in the RV life? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was at school. Do you have time for this one? <laughs> <laughs> I was at Baylor and dad called me up one day and said, Hey, when you come back home, things are going to be different. We're going to start living in campgrounds. <laughs> yep. Basically, like, uh. as, as she was finishing up with school, I was kind of going, well, now that the kids aren't in school, we're not... Tied down. We, we no longer need to be in a house and stationary because I already worked remotely. Okay. And so I started wondering, well, what do I do next? What do we do next? You know, what? I don't want to just sit here in this house for the rest of my life. So then I got to remembering that back when I was a teenager, we'd always go camping with my parents and during the summer months, and those were some of the greatest times. So then I started looking at YouTube and going, wait a minute, people actually do this stuff <laughs> full time. I'm on board. Yeah, that's that's what we so. did too. And when we decided that we were probably going to do it, we started looking at YouTube and mm -hmm. actually figured out, wow, it's a thing. People do this. Yep. So here we are. And that's too. when I first brought it to her. She's like, no, Dad. I was like, you mean we're no, going to be homeless? we're going to be homeless. Like, no, come and watch some of these videos. You can see it's actually a thing. You know, it's and, and people do it. And, you know, wow. it's, they're not homeless. They're just... <laughs> houseless <laughs> yeah and a lot of them aren't even houseless they still got a house that they go yep. to every now and then but. right <laughs> yeah. so tell us about your your home <laughs> our home is a 34 foot 30 floor a 30, 30 a 30 floor. 34 foot a 34 foot <laughs> fleetwood south wind it's a 1993 so it's a vintage Nice. Uh, it's actually the same year that my wife and I were married. Oh, so, which, so yeah, makes it the same age. But as it's our got marriage. the same like purple carpets from back in the nineties. <laughs> you know, yeah. the floor, the blue floral. Everything. Oh wow! It definitely <laughs> needs, needs a an lot update. Of, but yeah, it needs some tender loving care so we can get to it. But uh, you know, it, but it runs really well. Yeah, that's good. It had uh, less than sixty thousand miles on it when we bought it, and. And only, I, we think only two previous owners because they had left a big briefcase of all the records of everything that had been done to it and yep. stuff throughout hmm. the time, so that's, that's nice. pretty cool. Wow, that's cool. Is it diesel or gas? gas. It's a gas. Gas. Okay. Awesome. Gets a whole nine miles to the gallon. Woo! On a good day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was, Downhill. <laughs> I was getting about 10 or 11 uh, coming this way from Elkhart, but coming up here from... Uh, from uh, the Houston area that where we first met y'all, I was only getting about eight. <laughs> so wow. it's a big difference. The, all the hills. All the hills yeah. made a big difference, yeah. Yeah. So if you could visit one place, where would your favorite place to visit be? <laughs> I would say Italy, but we oh. kind of can't drive there. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> well, there's a couple of places that are on my list yet um, that are just more nostalgic. Uh, one being the Tri-States. Uh, park in Cumberland Gap, Tennessee. Oh. Okay. But when I mean, you're up in that, it, I don't remember if it's a national, I think it is a national, but you can actually see Tennessee, Kentucky, and Virginia from a certain point in that campground. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. That's one that we spent a lot of time at, at summers when I was a youngster. Oh, yeah. Um, wow. In the Smoky Mountains. Smokies. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, talking about um, Italy, um, it would be nice to be able to do a, a swap with somebody that had a, a motorhome over there and they could come and use your motorhome. And, and we've talked about that before because we follow a lot of uh, British channels or, you know, international channels. And 
But then you wonder about if they don't know how to use your right. equipment and all. <laughs> it's kind of scary. <laughs> or driving over there because you're driving, driving yes. on the opposite side mm -hmm. in some of those countries. And, We're used to that. Though. Well, yeah, we could do that. But yeah. a lot of, I mean, a lot of people would be freaked out about driving on the left side. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, we. I went to the Smoky Mountains as a child, and and just it was so beautiful. <laughs> I'd love to do that again. Yep. Next year. <laughs> Next year. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, what are your plans for the future? Live. <laughs> yeah, good plan. Survive. That's what I was going to say, and I'm like, no, that wouldn't be right. <laughs> um, near future, we're going to head back west, uh, go up through the Pacific Northwest again, and then this summer we're going to make a trek across the uh, northern U.S. over oh. towards the east, maybe uh, Michigan area, and then start working our way back south for next winter, maybe be in Florida next winter. Hey, oh, you cool. stole our plans. That's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> well, we were supposed to be in Florida this winter. Oh. But, but then everything got crazy and we just didn't want to. We stayed wanna... in Texas. Oh, yeah. We've yeah. actually been in Texas for nine months now. Long enough to wow. make a baby. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. Oh. Nine months. That's a long time. That's longer than we've been in our RV. Yeah. We were only planning on being here for like two weeks max. Oh yeah, <laughs> we were we were going to be going through Texas, right, on our way to Tennessee, and uh, then kind of go up towards Michigan, New York, and work our way down the coast into Florida, and you know. And here then, we are. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still here, <laughs> but we're ready. But you're to get from moving. here originally, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is home base. So yeah, very cool. And what what town are you from again? Spring. Uh, oh. Okay. So right the area where we met you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All my cousins live in spring. That's where we're spending Christmas. Uh, day after Christmas, we're having a family uh, Christmas party. We're going to do ugly masks. I'm just <laughs> going to, well, I'm not going to give it away. If I had exes, <laughs> they'd be from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> they are from Texas. What do you mean? Well, I don't have exes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've, I've, you been, know I've been with your mom all my life. <laughs> oh, no. uh, so what is your dream RV? I'd say probably the one we're in. Just Updated. my dream would be to, you know, actually restore it. Oh, I, yeah. I don't necessarily want to renovate it. I'd, I'd like to restore it back to the original condition. Oh, that would be awesome. Uh, maybe not. Eh, I probably would go with the same colors, but no. you probably would go, no, 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 no. no I would paint I'd like everything. To, I'd like to restore it back to the original condition, that, and, you know, yeah. yeah, different colors, but the original Hardware. sofa restored, the original dinette, the, you know. The countertop, though, for the kitchen, I want to do in solid wood versus the laminated countertop. I want to make a solid. Like a butcher block yeah. so you can just cut on it? That'd yeah. be cool. We talked about um, watching all the vintage RV YouTubes. Uh, we talked about getting a, you know, just an old beat up RV and a vintage one and uh, restoring it. And um, not for us, just as a hobby, but we mm -hmm. don't think we'll be in one place long enough to do that. <laughs> That's yeah. what we've, we, talked, we've about. talked about. We've talked about that several yeah. times, just kind of flipping them, restoring them, and, and turn around and putting them on the market. But, you know, having a place to do that is. Are you going to do it? It's, ex when you it's expensive and, and time weeks? consuming. And if you're moving like you guys are, mm -hmm. you know, and like we will be soon, hopefully. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I took the time and, you know, made it, uh, made it my own style and everything, made it vintage and what I wanted, it'd be like having to give away a kid right. or something. It would be so hard. I, th I think I'd be too emotionally to attached sell to now. sell it. Yeah. <laughs> then we'd have 10 RVs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I've seen a few campgrounds, uh, Bill and Deanna actually. From Living the Silver Life? The, yeah, they actually had showed one on last week's video that where the uh, they had, our, you know, like a couple hundred RV spots and they had a few cabins, but then they had like five or six vintage RVs that they just were there permanently that they restored and fixed up and people can rent those RVs and stay wow. there. That, that would be, be cool. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be cool. Um, do you have any advice for newbies just getting started? Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> what are you waiting on? Just do it. <laughs> really, I mean, it's life. It's, you know, you, you might think it's 
it's all a big grand adventure and some parts of it are but it's it's life and when you live it full time it really is you get every aspect of life yes you got problems you got to deal with i know just a second. <laughs> <laughs> you got the good parts you got the bad parts you got the happy you got the sad you, you know it's but you you just get to move all the time so you right. know, for someone like me who likes that variety and change of scenery it's awesome but go ahead i just want to go like that sometimes <laughs> <laughs> your turn are you sure are you gonna interrupt me <laughs> i would say invest in a walkie-talkie early and talk about what hand signals mean when you back up first beforehand because every time in the beginning when we tried to back in he would change hand signals or like uh, I would do a hand signal and he'd be like no it's supposed to be this one and then the <laughs> next time I do that one he's like no you're supposed to do it this way and so just getting the communication down and then getting a walkie-talkie so you're not yelling out the window <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> I would say are big ones for us somebody else said it best on a channel the other day they said uh, on, in that regard um, before you try to tell me what direction you want me to go, say stop. Let me stop. I do and that and you don't can... listen to me. <laughs> I say stop and you and keep I going. I keep going. I'm like, okay. <laughs> That's how you went into the we, rock. <laughs> we learned quickly. We don't have the walkie-talkies yet. We use our phones. But we learned quickly to use driver's side and passenger side. Mm. You can either turn towards the passenger side or towards the driver's side so then I know. But we haven't seemed to have a whole lot of trouble yet backing into a spot. So. Phones are good unless you run don't into a park service. where you don't have service. <laughs> <Yes>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which we've had our fair share of. Oh, yeah. Walkie-talkies are definitely on our Christmas list, Santa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can mail those, too. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Oh. So um, another part of your channel or, or your family is uh, Gracie, Tim's wife, and yep, Chris, the mom. Crystal's mom. The mom. Yeah, <laughs> um, Gracie is uh, back tending to the puppies and the in the lunch right now. Yep. Um, but she travels with them as well, and we got to meet her um, when we were at the um, Lake Conroe. And uh, she doesn't like to do the YouTube thing much, I don't think. But no, we, <laughs> we, every now and then we get her to come on a video with yeah. us so people know she's still, you know, still around. Yeah. But uh, we haven't is. thrown her under the bus somewhere yet. But, you know, she, she just, she, she gets real nervous getting behind the camera and it makes her uncomfortable. So, you know, we don't force it on her. If she doesn't want to be on the film, then, you know, we respect that. And, um, you know, but, uh, but. She's back at the RV. Uh, she asked us to ask you guys if you were doing keto yet. So cause she's got those egg rolls ready to cook up. So, Ooh, they're right. actually already made so. and just sitting in the freezer ready oh, to deep frost yes. and fry she's up. Like, so. Awesome. And, and she goes, if they're on keto, just say, I'm sorry. I couldn't find any <laughs> keto wraps to do them with. But she's been looking. All right. Awesome. <laughs> I think we're going to make it our New Year's resolu resolution to get man. back on keto. <laughs> We're trying yeah. to get back on our walking. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> We've actually successfully walked like two nights the past week. So It's easy to do here with all the deer and yes. mm -hmm. yep. and, and all the and good it's cool the weather. Quite quite about. Yeah. I mean, that was our biggest, my biggest drawback this summer was it was yes. so dang hot here. <laughs> I can't believe I lived here all those well, years. I mean, we were yeah. used to, the past <sighs> two years we had summers in Oregon and Washington. Mm -hmm. yeah. Way and different, then, right? Yeah. Came back to Texas and we're like, man, it gets hot here. <laughs> what Bugs happened? everywhere. And then you stayed here all summer. Yes. Made it worse. <laughs> oh, wow. Summer. And uh, we leave here, we're heading up into Verde Valley in Cottonwood, Arizona, where it's going to be chilly again. Nice. At the nighttime. So, Daytime, right. it'll be like 70s. Hmm. Well, do you have anything else you'd like to say to the viewers? Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> we went off. <laughs> Boldly, that was in stereo, too. That was nice. I dropped my phone. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think that was planned. <laughs> but, uh, All right, guys, if you haven't checked him out, it's C R View, and it's, yep. I'm going to read it off of his shirt S E E O R, capital R V O U R, right? Yep. <laughs> capital R V I E W, C R View. And Pretty we'll cool link it down below. Play on so, words. Yeah. We will definitely link it down below. Um, 
So, as always, if you're still here, we really appreciate you hanging out or sticking around with us. <laughs> and we'll see you next time on Jawjacking with Jarhead and Ginger. Bye. Bye.